Hey, this is Jackie. It's uh, 10.30 Monday morning. Uh, I got a picture of it. I think I got about three or four good shots of it. It's going around on the kitchen ceiling, and there's a light film of smoke up there, and I don't know where the smoke is coming from, but I got the lights that have been zooming around. There's been light beams on the, dancing around on the ceiling, and then there was also a shape form. It was the morning of August 28th when Jackie made that call to Barry Conrad. She'd just taken pictures of an amazing light show in her kitchen. Her friend, Chrissy, also witnessed the phenomenon. I looked up here, there's a little light that was going around and around and around real, real fast. And by this time it was all clumped here and it would, it would divide and it would go back together and it was like little jelly balls. And back in 1989, in August of 89, uh, Jeff Wheatcraft and Barry Conrad came over to uh, my lab and said they had some photographs of some ghosts that they had uh, taken pictures of. I was sort of skeptical, of course. I've had a lot of people tell me these kind of things. So we developed their film. There wasn't anything on the film that I could see uh, from the black and white film. However, they did bring in some uh, color uh, prints and some color negatives that I inspected and there were some white lights on them. Uh, there was a series of four pictures in particular that I thought were sort of interesting. There was a, the first picture had nothing on it. The second picture had a little bit of light. Uh, the third picture had a rather large amount of light. And the fourth picture was very interesting because it seemed that the light started, started to, uh, uh, should we say, dissipate or actually split apart and become two, maybe three pieces of light. Uh, I inspected negatives and I assured them that uh, the negatives were not doctored. They were not, uh, as far as I could tell, manipulated to make this happen. It seemed to me that these were light sources rather than being reflections. Because of the fact that there was no spillage of light, there seemed to be a hard edge, especially on the fourth picture. Uh, it was very, very hard edge where it was starting to split apart. You could actually see uh, the line. Uh, th as far as I know, there's nothing in the photographic world that can actually recreate this kind of liquid light, should we say. It would have to be some kind of a light sort th that was splitting apart and uh, emanating from within, should we say. So this is how it started, and uh, little by little, uh, Jeff and Barry kept coming in, telling me stories of what they were seeing and things that were happening. I became very much involved with it. and. Um, I enjoyed uh, doing this part of it and being the technical adv advisor as far as the pho photographic uh, images were concerned. The second set of pictures that were brought to me by Barry and Jeff are much more interesting than the first, I believe. Uh, this first picture, as you can see, has uh, several sets of lights. It has uh, one over here, one over here, and two seemingly ones in the middle. I believe that these two in the middle are actually reflections of the two on the outside, possibly in the camera lens, that's possible. Now I believe that these are actually light sources rather than lights being reflected. Light when it's reflected against a wall, especially a lighter wall, uh, has a tendency to flare out and you have no specific hard edge to it. These particular uh, lights right here do have hard edges to it, especially the ones in the center and on this one here, which seems to have a square edge to it down at the bottom. It's very much uh, a hard edge rather than being a diffused edge. 
such as a flashlight being flashed against the wall. Uh, I think that they are emanating light. You can see how they are reflecting light itself right down onto the carpet. And it is uh, definitely coming uh, out from the wall rather than being reflected against the wall and then bouncing back. Now in this second picture here, you can see that there's actually three very strong lights. Whereas in the other picture where there were two strong lights and one, uh, two in the middle that were not as strong. This particular one is definitely showing light that's being emanated from this area here and reflecting against the carpeting. Uh, however, there's not much light that's being spilled against the wall. I think that we can prove this point if we take a flashlight and uh, shine it against uh, an object and give you the same kind of an effect. You know, what we have here is just a white cardboard. We're going to show the difference between reflected light and light that's a light source. If we shine this flashlight against the, what we would call the wall, you can see it's sort of spillage. It doesn't have a defined line. It's sort of round, but it sort of spills out, and it's not very hot as it was in the pictures. If we change that and put this behind and make it a light source coming out from the wall, you've got this very bright light coming out from the wall, no spillage on the wall, and a very defined round figure, just like we see in the pictures. In examining these negatives and these photographs, I believe that they are light sources rather than reflected light. Uh, I believe this because of the fact that the intensity of the light from the light that they photographed is actually very intense. I think that the sharp edges also prove that it uh, uh, comes from a light source rather than reflected light. Uh, in my 20 years experience in darkroom work, I have never encountered this kind of a situation before where there's actual light sources coming from something other than uh, a light source. Uh, I've seen people that have tried to manipulate their negatives and tried to photograph things and make them look unusual, but these are authentic. They're highly unusual. It was a ball of light that was um, hovering above the floor in the bedroom. And I was programmed by Barry very early on to get pictures of anything like this happening. And I, I enjoyed getting pictures. I mean, I wasn't frightened by it at the, uh, when, when I got the pictures. I was excited to get pictures that no one else would get and to prove that I was seeing what I was seeing get it on film. So I took the camera and it was just a regular Instamatic 35 millimeter and I started taking pictures with and without the flash in different parts of the room and trying to get different angles. And the light was the same as it had been before. It was a bright white light that would separate and become two. And then it would separate again and it would go, uh, go back together. And it was a bright glowing light. It was about six, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. The sun had been up, it was, it was pretty well lighted outside. And if I used the flash, it didn't come across on the pictures. But without the flash, the, the light was so strong, it illuminated the carpet. You could see the, the illumination in the carpet, almost like it was like a, a light bulb. In this particular picture here, these particular uh, items seem to have some kind of a dimension to them. In other words, they, have, they seem to be ball-shaped. It's almost as if you could grab them like you could a ball. They also have the light. It seems to be that the light is not being reflected straight down from the wall, but it's centered out away from the wall. The center of the light seems to be right about here, which is a, several inches away from the wall. Therefore, these might be away from the wall. If that's true, there should be some light that's being reflected against the wall, but there's not. Extremely unusual. I can't explain it. On this photograph, the reflections from the lights onto the carpet, and they're very close to the wall. In this photograph here, the lights have moved away from the wall. Notice the reflection on the carpet, how much further away from the wall it is. They're moving. They're out away from the wall. I don't know what these light sources are, but I think I know what they are not. I know that they're not reflected light sources. I don't believe that they're coming from the sun. I don't believe that there's something in the room that's causing a reflection to, to create this kind of a situation. They're emanating light themselves. Uh, 
There's no way that light can be reflected from the wall down to the carpeting the way that it's being done. Uh, highly unusual. Uh, I hope that we find out someday what they are.